Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Let's get started. The Ottawa Senators played against their fiercest rivals, the Montreal Canadiens, in regular season action in the second game of the season at the Canadian Tire Center. Uh, just a few hundred tickets left. Not a sellout, but 300, uh, 300 tickets away from a sellout. So a good crowd and a crazy crowd in a crazy game. Uh, in Ottawa, let's get things started. After killing a penalty, Dezingo skates in with all the speed he has. He may, I think he may actually have a breakthrough year this year. Shoots it on Montoya, it's stopped. Gets the rebound and buries it. Puts the Senators up 1-0 thanks to Chris Weidman and Eric Carlson with the assists. The Senators are up 1-0. A few, uh, 5 to 10 minutes later, Zach Smith, a shot from Carl, from Weidman, pardon me, sh deflects off Smith and pass Montoya. Sanders are leading and destroying the Habs so far in the first period. They lead it now 2-0, thanks from a goal from Smith, his first of the season, assisted by Chris Weidman and Bobby Ryan. That puts the Sanders up 2-0. And after the first period, the Sanders led in shots 13-6 and were outplaying the Habs amazingly. One of the best, the best uh, I've seen of the Sens play in quite a long time. Let's see if the Sens can keep it up. Going into the second period, five minutes in, a power play goal by Jeff Petrie, who shoots a bar in, and it makes it now a one-goal lead for the Sanders, as Petrie from Nathan Bullia, and uh, the game is now 2-1. to one. Moments later, uh, first goal for Lekkonen for the Canadians. Craig Anderson couldn't hold his post. It was a scramble from the net. Lekkonen buries it off. Uh, chip in off Anderson off the post and in. This Anderson could have hold his post. The goal assisted by Philip Deneau and Shea Weber. And guess what? The game is tied at two in the third period. Early in in the third period. After the, oh by the way after two, the Sanders led the Canadians twenty three to fourteen in shots and. They had control of the whole game, but midway through the second, they got that goal. And then to start the third, Lekkonen scored. And now they, they tied it up at 2, 250 into the third period. And seven minutes later, a point, a shot from the point. Jeff Petrie scores, assisted by Alex Galchenyuk and Brendan Gallagher on the power play. Just after the power play, sorry. Just a, one, uh, a shot from the point. No chance for Anderson as he was screened. All of a sudden, the Canadians jump three goals in a row. A collapse by the Senators, and the Canadians lead it 3-2. to two. With a couple minutes left, the Sanders crowd getting really loud and crazy. The whole game, the, I was there. The whole game, the Sanders crowd was amazing. Uh, the Habs fans were pathetic. They were just gross. Very, very gross and annoying fans. Trust me. Every fan base has these fans. So I'm not judging a whole fan base. But there were some Habs fans that were booing a Sens fan. A little kid with a Sens fan waving a flag. Like, just classless. Like, not all Habs fans are like that. I know some very nice Habs fans, but... Just stuff like that really ruins the game for me. It's, it's, it's just unbearable to watch. But Tom Pyatt stuck it to his former team, the Montreal Canadiens. He buried it with 250 left, assisted by Ryan Zingle, second point of the game, and the Habs killer and the Habs slayer, Jean Gabriel Pajot. Now it's a 3 3 game, a bar down goal on a beautiful 2 on 1 passing play. Going into overtime after shots were in favor again for the Ottawa Senators, 34 to 22. Going into overtime after the period, uh, back to back, uh, breakaways, plenty of chances for the Senators, a couple of chances for the Canadians. Nothing was resolved. We go to the shootout. After the overtime period, shots for the 30, uh, for the Senators was 36 and for the Montreal Canadiens, 24. So the Senators outshot them badly and kept not a lot of shots on net, which is nice to see, but they did let the game almost slip away. Starting off the shootout, uh, Kyle Turris buries it uh, to put the Sanders up one nothing. Alexander Rogelov, the the newly acquired Montreal Canadian in the off season, scores. Uh, Bobby Ryan comes in and misses wide, but Pacioretty stopped uh, trying to go five full on Anderson. Derek Broussard hits the post, barely stays out. He does not score. Uh, Alex Galchenyuk is stopped by Craig Anderson. Eric Carlson, your captain, Vaudra Center, scores. And that was the game-winning goal as David Dearnay fans on the shot. Like a pathetic player he is. And the Sanders win a wild game. The final score for the Sanders, four for your Ottawa Sanders, and three for the Montreal Canadiens. Absolutely crazy. One of the best games I've been to. Just back and forth. So much drama in the game, so much hitting, so much intensity. Just a great rivalry game. Face-off percentages was in favor of the Senators. They won 35-21 to for 62.5% of the face-offs, and the Canadians had a lousy 37.5. Power plays, 0-4 for, for the Senators, and 1-4 for, for the Canadians. Hits, 
28 for the Sanders, 26 for the Canadians. Sanders really, really laid on the body early on in the periods. And the shots in favor of the Sanders, 38 to 24. The three stars of the game, Ryan Zingle, the third star with a goal and an assist and a plus one rating. He had nine minutes of time on the ice. Jeff Petrie, the second star with two goals, uh, an even rating at zero. He was the second star. And Eric Carlson, your Ottawa Sanders captain with one assist as the first star with the game-winning shootout goal that propelled your Ottawa Sanders to the second straight victory to start the season. The Sanders are now 2-0-0 after being the Toronto Maple Leafs in the overtime and being the Montreal Canadiens in the shootout. The Sanders are 2 0 The Canadians are now 1 0 1. Sanders are third place in the Atlantic Division. Just really, really, really great game in the beginning. Sanders let it slip away, but the Sanders really, really impressed me early on. And hopefully, Guy Boucher will really press on them that the Sanders can learn how to hold a lead and propel a victory in regulation. Two overtime and a shootout win is nice, but you want to win some in regulation. You want to have that securance, uh, insurance. And you just, you don't want to be able to collapse like that. So at the end, the Sanders got to two points they deserved, in my opinion. But the Canadians got a one point that was really, really lucky. Uh, and uh, a team like the Canadians with a coach like Michel Therrien shouldn't be going anywhere, especially without uh, Carey Price. Al Montoya, 35 saves, was fantastic. But Michel Therrien is the worst coach, in my opinion, the NHL scene in a while. And I'm, I, I'm including John Tortorella there. He's worse than John Tortorella. And I do not understand how he's still in the NHL. Embarrassment for the Canadians organization as such a treasured and historic organization is sh overshadowed by such a crappy coach and GM and Marc Bergevin and Michel Therrien. It's, uh, it's despicable. It's gross. And they're two buddies, so nothing will ever be done. Uh, David Dernay fanned on the shot to make the Sanders win the shootout. Another pathetic thing for the Canadians. He shouldn't even be on the team. He should be in the AHL. It's, I'm, hey, I'm a Sens fan. I'm okay with it. But if I was a Canadians fan, I'd be fed up and I'd be boycotting the Canadians. This is a team that has Carey Price should definitely be in contention for the Stanley Cup. Canadians are not even close to contention in the Stanley Cup, in my opinion. Carey Price is out with the flu. He really, in my opinion, injured his knee again. We'll see what happens there. But back onto the Sanders. Sanders really, really, really played well. They, uh, until the se second half of the game. But the way they played in the first half, just absolutely fantastic. And they out outshot the team 36-24. Can't ask for a better and more entertaining game. Hope you all enjoyed that. That was absolutely fantastic. Sanders starts the season 2-0-0. Exciting games. Guy Boucher, uh, I like the way he's coaching. Uh, the power play. They, uh, you can hear the crowd of almost a sold out crowd in Canadian Tire Center telling them to shoot. They just, they need, the problem with the Sanders in the shootout, and not in the shootout, on the power play. They're getting all these chances. They need to shoot the puck. They had a five on three. They couldn't score there, and the Canadians ended up scoring. They take the lead after that. Absolute pathetic. The Sanders need to get the power play on the roll. The reason they didn't make the playoffs last year, defense, which Guy Boucher, I'm 100% telling you he will help. And special teams. The Senators need to improve their special teams, to make it to the postseason this year, and do anything in the postseason. A good team has to have a strong power play. Senators' penalty kill has been has been pretty good, uh, been doing pretty well. But they need to score goals with the amount of penalties they get. So I'm looking forward to the next Senators game on Monday in Detroit at seven seven thirty o'clock. Uh, look forward to that game. Uh, be ready for a video after that, and follow us on Twitter at Senstock underscore of course. After this video, um, check out our last video and binge watch our series. Uh, we have a playlist for our videos, so check it out. Uh, so follow us on Twitter at Sendstock underscore. Like us on Facebook at Sendstock. Click the big red button right there and down there to subscribe to us. Like this video, smash that like button, and share this content to anybody. Get the the fan base for Sendstock up there. Um, add us to your circles to so Google Plus to Sendstock. SendstockCenter.com. Always updating our uh, website with new videos and stuff like that. So check it out there. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support. Over 4,000 views already. Uh, and has only been four videos in this uh, in this fifth season. Over 4,000. My projected total was 7,000. We're almost there, guys. Get us to it. Share this video. I'll see you the next time. The final score, your Ottawa Sanders, four on the shootout. And three for the Montreal Canadiens. Go, Sens, go.